Hello fellow airplane collectors, welcome back to another video, it's your host Ray. So today's video is a catch up on my airport, just a quick update to show you guys what I've been up to. So a lot has changed uh, since I last made a video and I've been hard at work finishing the airport, well not finishing it, but um, making progress on the build and stuff, so yeah, as you can see I got a, well I don't know if you guys noticed, but I did get a bigger table and I got a, about two by two feet uh two by two feet area uh of extra space so i just expanded the airport as you can see so you can see the division line right here it's quite clearly it's quite clear because i i just didn't manage to uh join it together good enough so yeah this from this point to that side that is the original side and from this point to this side that this is the expansion uh, as you can tell, there are four holes for gates. I'm going to end up doing double gates on three of them, which means I'm just going to put two gates in one air in one, uh, what's it called? One slot for, yeah, for to handle bigger airplanes, of course, because I do want to have larger airplanes, uh, preferably larger than the 767 here, because that's the biggest airplane we have here right now. Uh, over here, I added more... Parking markings and why did that have to rhyme? Parking foils and stuff. I still haven't gotten the white gate lines in there yet, and I'm not sure if I want to add them because it's way too much time. Uh, but yeah, that's it. So yeah, all the planes are pretty much just parked except for this one. I was showing my friends this, so I'll just set them at gate B3 right there. There it's, it's right there. So yeah. Also, a new addition to the collection. I didn't do an unboxing on this because I honestly didn't feel like it. Because it was it was just going to be a wasted video, and I would not have gotten very many views on it. I mean, I don't I don't get very many views in general, but it wouldn't have been that appealing. So, yeah, this is the uh, Air Canada Airbus A220 300 by uh, Gemini Jets. I went to go buy this at Grayland Station here in Chicago. And uh, yeah, they have a pretty big store. I was tempted to buy a 767, but I really didn't want to. So next time I'm over there, I'm definitely going to buy something bigger than this. But uh, this is still pretty cool. It's my first Air Canada airplane, and I honestly love the new livery. So it's a good thing that it's at my airport here. As of right now, for airport plans, uh, the main priority right now... Hold on, sorry. I, have to, I don't know if you guys see this, but... Um, let's get the camera focus. Focus. There, see that little speck right there, and like there's more specks over here. I have to blow them away because they just pile up there, and it looks really bad. Um, so as I was saying, I do well. Here are my priorities for the airport right now. I'm the main priority right now is to continue fin like to finish the airport, as in buy gates, finish the parking area of uh, parking foils. All that good stuff. Once I finish that, then I can start buying airplanes. And I know I'm putting myself through that on my own, but I really regret doing that because I'm missing a lot of great new releases by Gemini Jets and NG models. Uh, and right now on my list, once I finish the uh, airport, which is going to be in, I'd say, a month or less, I'm probably going to be able to start buying model airplanes again. And the ones on my list are... The new Spirit Airlines Airbus A321 by NG Models. Um, and yeah, that's the only new release that I'm really after right, uh, as of right now. Um, and yeah, that's basically all I have to say. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything you want to say, please no hate. Uh, <laughs> no, you, uh, yeah, just... Feel free to comment down below, like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys in my next video. Also, also, I always do this. I know I always end late after. I always end the video after the um, outro because I always have something to say. Um, if you do want to criticize what I build, pl please feel free to do that. I take constructive criticism. Yes, Rockstar Nerd 1957, I am talking to you. Um, constructive criticism of any type, just keep it friendly. Just keep telling, like, tell me what I need to fix, how I can fix it. Don't just say, oh, this sucks. Like, I mean, I want an explanation as to why it does so I can improve on it. Improve on it. Because I'm trying to improve the content, obviously, to get more subscribers and to, I mean, make my videos as helpful as possible. So, yeah, that's it. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys in my next video. Peace out.